Right now at 5.30, a Long Island man facing felony charges accused of posting fake sexually explicit photos on a porn site. Good evening once again. I'm Maurice Dubois. Welcome back to the broadcast. I'm Christine Johnson. Prosecutors say that Patrick Carey faked images to make them look like his former underage classmates were engaged in sex acts and then shared them online. CBS 2's Carolyn Gossoff has a story from Long Island. He's a 20-year-old store clerk who prosecutors say was on a depraved campaign to harass former classmates. Patrick Carey is accused of deep faking their social media posts, superimposing nude bodies to make it look like girls as young as 14 were engaging in sex acts. It's horrible and it's affected these girls. Like you can't even imagine. These are good girls. They're in college. It's it's just horrible what this animal has done. Victims and their parents in court as the indictment was detailed. Carrie created 14 usernames, uploaded 1,200 posts to a porn website that features images without the subject's permission, then allegedly shared victims' names, phone numbers, addresses, including maps. You have no statement to make? Prosecutors say he then encouraged site users to harass and threaten them. They received a very sexually explicit voicemail or private messages from strangers. Assistant DA Melissa Skinnell says Carey was not paid, his motive unknown. It was them at cheerleading, it was them smiling at the beach, you know, they were just living their lives and had their images taken um, and modified and shared to strangers to solicit rape fantasies. Carey is a 2019 graduate of MacArthur High School in Levittown, where his school superintendent called the allegations extremely disturbing. He lives with his parents in Seaford and is, according to his attorney, seeking treatment. I just hope he gets what he deserves. Prosecutors say some of the victims first found out about the posts because some social media platforms notify users of screen grabs, and they praised the victims as unsung heroes. They were getting these filthy images they were getting these filthy messages and they took it upon themselves to figure out where they were coming from and to reach out to the police. 11 victims came forward. Prosecutors say there could be as many as 50 and are urging anyone who suspects they're among them to contact the Nassau DA. In Mineola, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News. And Carey was ordered to be electronically monitored if he makes bail. Also, the district attorney is trying to get all the illegally posted images removed from the site.